So this question starts off by providing us with this system of equations here. Now, this first equation in the system is just telling us that y is equal to negative 1.5, which means technically I could take that negative 1.5 and replace this y here with negative 1.5, right? So I'd have negative 1.5 equals x squared plus 8x plus a. Let's see if that's useful for me. Let's read the actual question. It says in the given system of equations, a is a positive constant. The system has exactly one distinct real solution. What is the value of a? So really the hint here is this statement. The system has exactly one distinct real solution. So anytime I see the terms real solution on this test, I'm immediately thinking about the discriminant. The discriminant is a formula, b squared minus 4ac, and that formula gives us quite a bit of information on, in terms of the types of solutions that we expect from a quadratic equation. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, we expect to get two real solutions. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, we expect to get one real solution. And if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, we expect to get no real solutions. So because the question says we have exactly one distinct real solution, we are here in the middle category. So I'm going to just rewrite that. b squared minus 4ac must be equal to 0. By moving my negative 1.5 down here, I can now have a quadratic equation. I need to simplify it, though. I need to make it equal to 0, basically, by adding 1.5 to both sides. So let's just write down what that ends up looking like. I would have x squared plus 8x plus a minus, I'm sorry, plus a plus 1.5 is all equal to 0. In this case, my a value is the, is the coefficient in front of the x squared, so that's going to be 1, so a is 1. My b value is 8, and my c value is actually all of this, a plus 1.5. Right? That would be the numerical part of that equation. So I'm going to plug that stuff down into my discriminant. So b squared would become, of course, 8 squared minus 4 times a, which is just 1, times c, which is a plus 1.5, is equal to 0. Let's simplify that further. 8 squared is 64. Minus 4, right, this just becomes minus 4, times a becomes minus 4a. And then take that same negative 4, multiply by a positive 1.5, and you get a minus 6 equals 0. I now have like terms between the 64 and the minus 6. 64 minus 6 is 58. So this becomes 58 minus 4a is equal to 0. I can then subtract, I can subtract 58 from both sides. I'm left with negative 4a is equal to negative 58. And then I can divide both sides by negative 4 and get a equals, let's see what I get as a decimal in my calculator for 58 over 4. 14.5. So a is equal to 14.5. That's what the question asks for. What is the value of a? So I'm all finished there. 14.5 is my correct answer here.